Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office uh, how-to video tutorial. In this video I'm going to quickly show you the RAND between function in Excel and how you can use it to use all manner of things from prize draws to even deciding who makes the tea. But yeah, it's basically a random number generator. So in this uh, situation I've uh, created, here's one I've done earlier as they say, and you might use this random number generator for example if you've done a if you've got a customer database and you want to give a prize draw or an email list and you you want to independently or uh, uh, objectively run a, a prize draw choosing a number between however many customers you've got for your prize winner or you might have other uses uh, in determining maybe there's been a, a a competition you've run on social media on Twitter or Facebook or something and you want to choose who out of the list of people that have commented on a post have has won the prize that you're giving so all you do is uh, enter you can use this template that I've created for you which will be on my blog at excel at the office dot com uh, you enter your minimum number here, which is normally one if you're to doing in relation to prize draws, and then the maximum number of people or, or entries that are in the prize. Uh, so you'll normally change this figure. And once you've entered something in here, uh, it changes the, it provides the random number for you. So in this case, the winner is 343. So for the f prize draw, I'm doing a uh, random between formula which you'll see in the formula bar here that is referring to uh, cell references so it's saying give me a random number between this number number one my minimum number and that number number 500 my maximum number and in the instructions in this uh, simple worksheet uh, I'm using here uh, option two so it refers, it's providing reference numbers. So the formula is always use uh, equals, obviously. You've got your rand between, which is the function you're using. And then, with all, as with all functions, you're opening and closing brackets to encase the function. And it's simply uh, listing your first cell reference and then giving a comma to your second cell reference. So in here, I've used that. Uh, formula round between my first cell reference is L25 which is this number one here and my second cell reference is L26 which is a hundred and then every time I press enter or on uh, Windows if you press F9 that will recalculate uh, and reproduce a new random number for you so that's using cell references um, you can also do even more simply um, round between for if you know how many uh, you've already got in your uh, customer list or prize draw or something you just enter the uh, within the formula the bottom number and the top number so instead of having it in a cell reference you just simply type in this case the number one and the number hundred and when you press enter it will produce a random number between it so it's entirely random you can assure your uh, competition entrance that it's been done impartially and objectively uh, for when you're running a prize draw and if you guess this time uh, when I'm gonna just rerun it just showing you every time you double click in a cell it doesn't even have to be that cell uh, you can double click and press enter that reruns the random number generator. So have a guess what number it's going to be this time. And if you guess right, I'd recommend doing a lottery or something tonight. Okay. Did you get 33? Who knew? And then, just for a bit of fun, you can also use random number generators for uh, when you're at the office with your colleagues or even at home if you're sad enough uh, like me to use spreadsheets uh, for your home life. Um, I've made a little bit of fun. Who makes the tea? You may notice my uh, quirky character here from a previous video where I've uh, demonstrated the new Microsoft functionality where you can insert uh, cartoon people. 
Uh, there's, I'll show a, I'll share that video in the video link, but uh, it's I've used it in the context of PowerPoint. But in this case, I've made a simple list and template. You can make your own similar list, um, but I've done, I've given space for ten people, and you can list the uh, names of the people in your office or team here. Um, if you've got uh, if you haven't got ten people, by all means, delete uh, nine and ten. And every time you might notice if you make a change, it then generates a new random number here. So this is my rand between formula. And in this case, rather than a simple cell reference, I'm choosing the minimum number between a on a range. So I'm choosing as my uh, lowest number, I'm saying, give me the minimum of this range of numbers, please, as my lowest number. And then for the biggest number I'm saying give me the maximum in this range which is of course uh, 8 now and every time I run that it will produce via a, a lookup reference where I'm using I'll show you in another video how to do V lookups and such but uh, to put it simply this formula is basically saying uh, using the concatenate field because I wanted to add an exclamation mark there just for to add to the joviality and fun of it so that you can exclaim to the person Gareth Keenan it's your turn to make the tea uh, but it's basically a V lookup but I'm concatenating that result with uh, the simple text of an exclamation mark so it basically looks up this number which has resulted in number six from the random number generator it then looks up for me who is the person associated with that number six and presents it here along with using the concatenate feature and exclamation mark. I've also included some easy instructions for you on this uh, who makes the tea if uh, you wanted to uh, take this to your own office and use it uh, for uh, getting people to make <laughs> the beverages of your choice and it, it may uh, it's very random so it's quite a bit of fun because you might have some people making uh, making the drinks on several times in a row and that could get uh, quite a, a bit uh, annoying for them and maybe amusing for others who knows but um, I wonder if you notice who the names are that I've used just as an example here so yeah that's the uh, who makes the tea a bit of fun using the random number generator uh, I've got the prize draw which you might use more seriously to uh, run things for competition winners and instructions here if you just wanted to uh, incorporate the random number generator the rand, using the rand between formula into your own spreadsheets and I've typed out in the yellow and green cells there uh, the formulas you might use. I hope you found that helpful this is uh, another excel at the office dot com video showing you how to use excel I'll share the um, I'll create another simple blog post on this and share a link in the uh, video description below. But for now, uh, please uh, feel free to like and share this with others who might find it interesting or uh, amusing. And uh, I subscribe to my channel if you're not done already. I hope you found that useful and uh, thanks for your time.